The following blues lick is in the key of G. But the chord shape for the G7 that is most applicable is at the 10th fret. Yeah, so the first part of the lick starts at the 11th fret on the second string and it slides up to the third. That's the first part. If you notice when I complete that lick, I slide back up to the 12th fret with my middle finger, but I cover the next note with my index finger. Is continuing with the index finger barring across the 12th fret, you're going to cover the next note, which is then the D note on the fourth string. And then you're gonna change strings and change fingers and slide up to the 16th fret. Continuing on on the second half of this lick. Smooth. So when you're changing fingers and sliding up, you want to make it sound very smooth and seamless. And you want to slide up with that ring finger because your next note is going to be covered with your index finger on that D note on the second string, and that would be the 15th fret. Practicing that transition is pretty important. Continuing on with that lick, The whole lick slowly. 